they, they got people that do restore them, you know, but I don't have any talent for that. I don't have any chisel guys. It's got a nice picture of me, and it's in color, the front page of the local section, above the fold. You can't get any better than that. So you get a color picture above the fold in a major newspaper, you got to be doing something right. And this Tonka thing is the best toy ever made for, for the kids, and, and uh, it's a durable toy. And the company made them years ago, and they were still making them. Probably a thousand or better, and I, I've had them for 25 years, starting to collect them 25 years ago. I've become famous with these toys worldwide. Saudi Arabia, France, England, Philippines, Australia, Uruguay, South America, New York, Florida, Washington, Oregon, everywhere. And, and uh, I, I have become very famous with these Tonka trucks. And I'd like for the Tonka truck manufacturers to get a hold of them and, and show some interest in them. I, I wanted to get them in Guinness Book of Records because I think I've got the world's largest private collection. I inherited that wood pile when I bought the house. I inherited that wood pile when I bought the house. Uh, over here, I'll show you the goat. They'll come around and take a picture of them. Here they come. Oh boy, here they come. Boy, them goats love these old waffles. I feed them every morning, every night. I feed them some of these little waffles. They love these little waffles. Oh, big one over here calling me, and he roots the rest of them away from the fruit. Uh, you know, big old oh, billy goat. He he can bite you for. Green. Took up old red truck. Yeah, it's 1960. Dump bed. Antique. 59 years old. These people stop out there every day. 15 or 20 cars a day stop there taking pictures. A young couple the other day wanted me to stand in between them while they did a selfie of the trucks and me and them, and which is about glad to do it. Had four people from Arizona drive over here, 350 miles one way, in a pickup truck, three women and one man, 50 years old or better, and they had seen them somewhere and they wanted to see them in person. And they drove 350 miles just to see these Tonka trucks, and boy, I was impressed. Good. I talked to them for a half hour or so and took pictures with them and everything else. And, uh, the one of properties here and that way I've got Tonkas in both places. i got a lot of room for them and I, I, I've been good to have them all these years. I've had them for 25 years. They're a great toy, a wonderful toy. They, they, they just uh, wonderful toy to have for kids and to people to look at. People love to look at them. They come from all over the world. I had a guy here from South Africa looking at them and a guy from Caltech taking 50 pictures. 
he says they might put them on the space shuttle someday. So I don't know. Uh, pictures of them. So uh, they're very popular and they've attracted a worldwide attention. I put them along a fence because I want people to be able to look at them. All farmers put their license plates on the walls of their barn. That's the way farmers do it. So I've got all kinds here. Texas, Oregon, I even got an Alaskan. I picked that up when I was in Alaska and brought it home with me. Where I'd be sure and have one for my barn. No, it's a... I've been doing a lot of work here and I've had some hired help come in and, and clean this place up a lot. Uh, I had a guy here today for four people here, three people here today for at least three or four hours with mowers and, and rakes and uh, cleaning up. We're trying to get the place looking good and I want the Tonkas to look good. I want the place clean for the Tonkas. the boat, 22 foot outboard motor boat, and uh, trees are kind of taking it over, but that's okay. Yeah, that's if you water it, it'll bloom, boy, make a beautiful bloom. This is a, if you don't water it, it'll bloom. If you water it, it'll bloom perfect, boy, make a beautiful flower. The way that the pecans make the branches sag. See, see the pecans in there? Look at See them right here. Right, you see them right there? Right there, there. The weight of the fruit makes them, the limbs, the weight of the fruit makes the limbs sag. Pear tree, and it's the best, juiciest, most delicious pear that I've ever eaten in my life. It's the very best, juiciest, sweetest pear that ever was. And uh, there's several of them up in the top there. This uh, cactus bush is here. Uh, the baby porcupine backed into a cactus bush and says, is that you, mama? Up around them, and I moved them all, scraped them, raked and cleaned, and then I uh, moved them all up 250 in that one group, and then I've got uh, some more cleaning to do, but then I'm going to move some more of them up, and we're going to have them on display for people to see, and they can come and look, take all the pictures they want, and we'd be glad to have them stop by and say hello. World famous, that's the way it happened for me. I'd just like to say that uh, people that come up here to look at them, uh, I told you about the little lady that had the little six-year-old boy, that his birthday, and she only had six dollars, she wanted to buy one for his birthday, but when I heard that it was his birthday and she only had six dollars, I just found a nice one 
the best one that I could find there, and I, I just handed over the fence to her, and I said, you keep your six dollars and wish him a happy birthday for me. And boy, that little old kid had a smile on his face. It was worth a million dollars, and a toy would have probably been worth 10 or 15 dollars that I give him, but that's okay. I was glad I was able to donate it to him, and it made his day, and when he's 40, he'll remember that, and when he's 50, he'll remember it. When he's 80, if he lives to be as old as I am, he'll still remember that old man giving me that Tonka truck back when I was six years old. In this orphanage that they wanted to take a truck down to for each one of them. And I found, I said, well, let me, they offered to pay for them. They wanted to buy them. And I told them, I said, look, if you're going to buy the gas to go down there and you're going to take the time to go down there and you're going to give them the truck, I'll, I'll donate them to them and you won't have to pay for them. I'll just donate these to these four boys you wanted to give them to. I, I like making kids happy. Uh, kids need to be happy about something. Uh, and if they get a nice toy, it makes them happy and it'll change their attitude in life because if they get a, something that will make them happy when they're kids, their life will change to the better. And maybe they won't be bank robbers and killers and thieves. Where he'd have a picture of his sign. 